distributor of parts and supplies for copiers and printers. So if you're in an office, the company that sold you that equipment and services equipment, there's probably a good chance that uh, one of our products are sitting in that machine that you use every day. Wow. Okay. So you're almost 50 years old. Have you always been doing that? I mean, were you guys the first in on the copier industry in the 70s? Kind of in this part. I mean, it, the copiers have been around for a while. It was actually started by my father mm. and he, uh, he was in the copier business at that point, and he kind of uh, he he noticed that with all the dealers that he worked with across the country, that they were paying exorbitantly high prices for parts at the time, and he figured he could he could find a way to offer the quality parts at a lower cost for them. And how he decided to make the jump into this business is my father was divorced at the time, and the company that he worked for was based in New York City, and they decided that they were going to move to Miami, Florida, was where they were going to move the headquarters. And since we were living in New Jersey, he did not want to move away from us. So he said he could not make the move, and he decided to uh, set up shop and start his own business. So he started out of his own home as a one-person army to start off. Um, so I was 10 years old when he made the jump into that. So I'm kind of dating myself to where where I'm heading into next year with us turning 50. So, <laughs> well, you know, that's okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, you know, everybody is always ashamed of how old they're actually getting versus how they feel at heart. Well, the, the, the years just keep going by as they are. So, you know, can't, you can't stop, you can't stop time, but uh, you know, there's, yeah, there's sure. no, there's no hiding age when you <laughs> don't have any more hair on top. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do. I've been hanging in there. The